Hey everyone, it's Brian. I want to share a derivative trick with you that I'm betting 99% of you have never even seen. And just to show you the power of this trick, I'm going to take the derivative of this as an example. And you read that right. That's a fourth derivative of this product. So here I'm going to do it in one line using my trick. That's pretty crazy, right? So where is this all coming from? Well, it's coming from something called Pascal's triangle. And that's basically a pattern that's very easy to write down. You don't even have to memorize it. Let me show you how it goes. So it looks like this. You start with ones, and, um, or even you could just start with one up top and think of it like this. Nothing plus one is one. One plus nothing is one. And you can keep going like this. Nothing plus one is one. One plus one is two. One plus nothing is one. Nothing plus one is one. One plus two is three. Two plus one is three. One plus nothing is one. And maybe I'll even go one more. Nothing plus one is one. One plus three is four. Three plus three is six. Three plus one is four. One plus nothing is one. And you use this as coefficients for these product derivatives. So this first row would signify zero derivatives. This first, um, sorry, second row would signify one derivatives, two derivatives, three derivatives, four derivatives, and so on, as many as you wanted to go. And I'll show you how I did this. So. Let's just look at this real quick. How did I pull this off? The way this works is if I'm going for a fourth derivative, I'm going to use these coefficients and I'm going to take derivatives of the first function going this way. And then I'm going to take derivatives of the other function going the other way. So what does that look like? Well, I would start off with one being this first coefficient times the first function. And then I'm going to add on four times the derivative of the first function. So the derivative of x to the fifth is 5x to the fourth. And I'm going to keep going. Then I'm going to use the six times the derivative again. So the second derivative of the first function. That would be the derivative of this piece. So that's just the derivative of 5x to the fourth is 20x cubed. And I keep going. I then use the 4 times the derivative of 20x cubed. That's just 60x squared. And then finally, times the derivative of 60x squared, which is 120x times this one. Now you might be wondering, what about the e to the x? Well, I do the same thing, but in the opposite direction. So I need to multiply this first piece by e to the x. And then I need to multiply this piece by the first derivative of e to the x, which is e to the x. I multiply this piece by the second derivative of e to the x, which is e to the x. So in a sense, all of these just get the derivative of e to the x. And that's why I factored it out in the beginning. So let me show you one more example of this. Let's take the third derivative of this product using this rule. So again, we need to remember Pascal's triangle. And I only need to go this far because it's a third derivative. So I only need this line. So let's follow the rule. It's one times the first function, which is sine x, plus three times the derivative of the first function. The derivative of sine is cosine. Then it'll be plus another three times the derivative again. The derivative of cosine is negative sine. And then plus one, the derivative of negative sine is negative cosine. And then we go the other way with the second function. So for this one, I need to multiply it by 
the second function, x to the fourth plus one. This piece I need to multiply by the derivative of x to the fourth plus one, that's just four x cubed. The derivative of this again would be times 12 x squared. The derivative once more would be 24 x. And so if you wanted to, you could write this nice and clean, or you could factor out some things if you wanted to. I think I'll just write it a little bit more neatly. This will be 24 x sine x, three times 12 is 36 x squared cosine x. I'm gonna have minus three times four is minus 12 x cubed sine x. And then I'm gonna get minus one times this, it's gonna be minus x to the fourth plus one times cosine x. And there you go, that's how I take a third derivative of a product very, very easily. So use this to impress your friends, use it to impress your teachers. And hey, if you liked this video and you wanna see more math tricks by me, make sure to subscribe. Thanks very much for watching, hit that like button and have a great day.